blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood, body giving sin I'm just saying I'm a mute, you Today I wanted to sit down and review the Coach Mini Hero Crossbody Bag. I had this bag for about a year now and I did wear it a couple times and it's quickly become an everyday classic bag for me. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of Coach handbags, but recently I feel like they came out with a lot of cute trendy pieces. I actually got this at the airport so I did get it tax free. So I paid a total of $395. The size that I got is the smallest one out of the Hero collection. And I'm actually not sure if you can still find this online, but I'll leave any similar alternatives down in the description box. I believe that they have a new version of this with updated colors, but I'm not completely sure sure if this specific light beige canvas and dark brown leather is in stock. So as far as design, this is a small size bag. I'll leave the exact measurements on the screen. It has a 21 and a half detachable strap which also is adjustable. For reference, I'm 5 foot 1 and I have it on the shortest setting and it hits right on my hip. It does feature an easy snap closure. I do like the gold tone hardware. I think it just fits nicely with the brown and the canvas. Starting off with the pros, I got this bag because it caught my eye in terms of the design. This will pair with literally anything in my wardrobe, especially in the spring and summer. It pairs well with dresses because it helps to tone down the look. Also looks great in a matching suit set. I chose a beige set to go with the canvas style of the bag. Again with the beige theme, I styled it with an oversized cropped hoodie and a midi skirt. This is something I'd wear to the office if I want to look more put together and professional. This is one of my favorite jumpsuits that I got from Alice and Olivia paired with an oversized blazer from Oakenfort. A more playful outfit featuring a flower crocheted cardigan with straight leg jeans. And the same outfit with some blue denim. I personally love the color combination of canvas with blue denim. And last but not least, a monochrome look featuring all the different shades that I love to wear during summertime. I like that it's not too logo heavy or branded. Love the size because it fits my frame perfectly. I also love that the strap is adjustable so you can really cater it to your height. I think for a coach bag, it's a pretty reasonable price at $3.95 considering how much I've already worn it. And the stitching is actually not that bad. Like I said, I had it for a little bit over a year now with a lot of wear and none of the stitching is coming off. Overall, I just really really like the design and functionality of this bag. I feel like I got my money's worth because I could style it in so many different ways and it just goes with everything in my wardrobe. The hook is also really thick so I feel like it has a good grip. Um, nothing's gonna really snap off and I just feel like overall the bag is pretty sturdy. Now a lot of the cons that I'm about to mention is probably user error because to be honest, I threw this bag around a lot and I wasn't really too careful with it. But the first con that I'll mention is that on the back of this bag, you can notice that there are some stains slash it looks like the weaving has bunched up a little bit and I think that happens when this bag rubs on other pieces of clothing. I'm not sure if the weaving on the canvas is super durable. You can see that other remnants of my clothing pieces have gotten stuck on the weaving. The gold on the hardware is also tarnishing a little bit but that doesn't bother me because I like the vintage look of gold hardware but I know that can be an issue for some people who like to keep their hardware pretty clean and rust free. Like I said, it doesn't bother me but I know that it might bother some people so I thought it's worth mentioning. Because it is a mini bag, you're not going to be able to fit that much stuff in here. I'll show you exactly what fits on the screen. I knew that when I was purchasing this bag, I was only going to be carrying my essentials like my phone, a lipstick, my wallet, and keys. The inside is a bit rigid, so sometimes when it's pretty filled inside and I have to take stuff out, it is a bit hard because the bag doesn't really have any give. It's not too flexible or stretchy. I would take that into consideration if you're someone who likes to carry a little bit more stuff. I know that there are a ton of bags that are relatively smaller in size but actually fits more because of the stretch, but this bag definitely does not have any stretch. 
If I'm being really nitpicky, you can see here that the leather trimming is a little bit uneven. I wasn't expecting a leather trim quality of other luxury designer bags, but if I look closely, it does kind of bother me a little bit because it's so uneven. Also, you can see here that the edges of the leather have scraped off. So I'm assuming with even more wear and tear, that scrape can spread across the entire leather trimming of this bag. Overall, I am satisfied with my purchase and it isn't a common coach bag. I haven't really seen a ton of people wear this, especially in the mini size. So I feel like my purchase was justified and I do think it's worth it if you're someone who is a little bit more careful with their handbags. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was not very careful with this bag, which could be a big reason why the signs of wear are pretty obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you guys are thinking about purchasing a coach bag, let me know in the comments because I am interested in purchasing a few of their trendy pieces since their price point is lower than the luxury designer brands. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!